Welcome to CareScan. In this video, I'll be doing a brief overview of the three modules we offer within our app. The first module is Reorder. The Reorder module allows you to order MVP parts directly through our CSR department using our barcode scan feature within the app. So before I dive into this app, or this module I should say, I'd like to kind of go over what you're seeing on the screen. So at the very top, we have Reorder. Uh, under Reorder, we have our customer DB ID or our database name, which is MVP Demo. Uh, yours will correlate to your company name, but for right now, we're going to be working in MVP demo. Uh, to the right of that, we have our crib, which is crib 01. So this drop down over here in the top right. Uh, this will correlate to whatever cribs you have at your cribs or tool rooms you have at your uh, facility. Uh, for right now, we just have one. Some facilities might have more than one. And this is where they can work out of certain, certain uh, tool rooms. Below that, we have our enter bin number. So this enter bin number area right in the middle of the screen. I can enter it manually or I can use the barcode feature to automate uh, the, the data population. To the right of that, we have our refresh sign. So if I was to type in a bin number, let's say that, and then to the right of it, I can hit the refresh sign and it would then populate uh, the data for that bin. So it's kind of like an enter button. Uh, to the right of the refresh sign is our camera feature or our barcode feature. When I click on that, that just allows us to actually use the camera and uh, shoot a picture of the barcode for it to populate data. So let me cancel that for now. And then to the right of that is the physical feature. The physical feature allows you to make any type of changes to your on-hand data uh, in real time. And then on the very right of the screen in the middle is that clip art or picture icon. And this will just allow us to click on this picture uh, and it'll show us an actual picture of the item uh, so we can confirm this is the item we're we want to be working with physically and in our hand versus what we see on the screen. So in the very middle of the screen under that, we have our quantity. So in this quantity field is where we can enter the quantity, what we want to order. Uh, you can enter it manually, or you can also use that minus or plus that you see on the left and right of the screen. So, and then under that, we also have add order. Add order will just, once our order is complete, we have our, let's say five line items or three line items. We can click add order and this will actually start the, the process of uh, creating our purchase order. So under there, let's go to uh, enter bin number. So at the middle of the screen, to the left, we have our bin number. To the middle of that, or sorry, to the right of that in the middle, we have our refresh sign and then we have our barcode. So I'm gonna click on this barcode at the very middle of the screen. I'm gonna press allow to let it use my camera. And as you can see, it got the uh, barcode pretty quick, and then now we have our data under it. So it populates automatically. Once it hits that barcode, it populates the bin number of A-0005. Under that, it has its item number of B4392. Um, and then below the item number where it says quantity, it has a quantity of 20 with the plus and minus next to it so you can make any type of judgment, uh, adjustment you would like. And then under this quantity area, you have our on hand. So right now, physically, we have on hand 21 is what the screens, what the app is telling us to the right of the on hand area, which is right uh, under the quantity and in between the and above the uh, add to order. We have our minimums and our maximums, which is set at five and 20. The minimums and maximums can be changed at any time. Uh, I'll go over that later in a, at a different module. So now that we're still in this screen, we see we have our bin entered in here. We have our item. Let's say we're looking at, the, uh, at our bin and our app is showing us we have 21, but really we have 15 in our bin. So we can go over here to the middle of the screen and towards the right where it has that P. So we can click on that physical feature. And now this feature, like I said, we have 21 in our app, but really we have 15 on hand. I can do this manually and let's see, I'll enter in 15 and then I'll just press submit. So once this syncs to the cloud and to our server, you'll have a success message. As you can see right here, it's been issued. So now we have at the bottom of the screen, well, middle bottom of the screen, right above uh, add order and in between quantity, you have an on hand of 15 where that did say 21 prior. So we still have our on hand of 15. Let's say we want to add 20 to our order. I'm just going to click on add to order. So now we've kind of started this purchase order. Well, we started the process of it and we have our first line item uh, of the quantity of 20 for A-0005 and then our part number B4392. Uh, now let's go to another one. I'm going to do this one manually so you can see how that works. 
So let's say I go into enter bin number on the very top of the screen to the left. Enter bin number in this one, I'm gonna do a dash zero zero two. Then I'll hit that refresh sign right next to it. Cool. And as you see, the data populates. We have our bin number, our item number, and then below that we have the quantity uh, that it is suggested order from the app. And then we have our on hand of 70, our minimum of 10 and our maximum of 20. Uh, if we go back to the middle of the screen or where we were working with where this is the enter bin number, all the way to the right is that clip art feature. So if you can see right here on, on the right side of the screen, I'm gonna cancel this in a second. So you can just see, so right side of the screen in the middle, click on that and you can see a picture of the actual item you're working with within the app. You can confirm if that's physically what you have in front of you versus what you're seeing in the app. So I'll close out of that. Let's say, so we have 70 on hand. Maybe we want to add 30 more to make it an even 100. Oops, not 300. Do 30, we'll add that to the order. Well, so now we have 30 on order for the blades. Now let's do one more. I'll take another picture with the camera. Uh, let's do this one. Cool, so. There's your bin number, your item number. If you go down to the middle of the screen, you have your on hand and your minimum and your maximum. Uh, if I did click on that P in the middle of the screen like we did earlier, you can make any type of adjustments you want, but we'll keep it at the same right now. So I was gonna cancel that. So right here, on hand, on hand is still at 20, right in the middle above uh, add to order. So let's say we wanna add, make this 25. And so like I was saying earlier, you can use that plus or minus instead of actually manually typing it in. So I'm just gonna use this plus to do 25 and I'll add that to the order. So now we have our three items. Let's say we're looking at this list and we decided we no longer want the PVC tape. You can just simply hit this trash can right next to it. So under the line item where it says reg-66 for our part number, there's a trash can. We click on this trash can and now we'll just delete it from the, the uh, purchase order you were starting to create. And now we just have these two items as our line items. So now that we've gone through our items, we've decided this is what we want. This is our purchase order. We want to actually submit this and, and get the ball rolling as far as getting this shipped out. So down here at the bottom right, we can click on submit. So once I click on submit, you have an overview of what you're ordering. You can enter an external PO number if you'd like. This is totally optional. Uh, I'm just going to enter in test. And then I'm going to hit confirm. So now it's confirmed, you'll get a success message in a second. Uh, once we get that, right after that, you're gonna get a little overview of what you actually just ordered. And so we have our PO number, which is 1046S. This PO number really is just gonna correlate within the app. Uh, it won't re really be used with MVP if you contact MVP or CSR. It's only gonna be used within the app. It just helps the app keep track of where it's at as far as PO is coming in and out. Uh, under that, we have our external PO number, which is just test, and then our supplier, and then our total value of uh, uh, whatever that value may be on your PO. And then under that, we have our actual line items confirming the, your cost and the total of well, how many parts you got. So I'm gonna close this. Remember that was 1046S was the uh, PO number we were working with. So that'll make sense in the next uh, module. So I'm gonna close that. So at the top of the screen where you see reorder, to the right of that is these three lines. So top of the screen, top right, we have these three lines. If I click on that, this is just a menu board where we can go back to home. We can go to, we can stay in reorder. We can go to our receive module or we can go to our bin maintenance model module. For the sake of the video, I'm just gonna go home. And then now I'm gonna click on the receive module, which is in the middle of the screen. So we'll click on receive. Cool. You see, I have all these open POs I've been messing around with for my, my demos. But at the very bottom, we have 1046S. So if I click on this, we have our two parts that we've actually been working with. We have our nozzle and our knife blades. So let's say you actually get the shipment. Uh, let's say you get the shipment and it has all the parts, everything's there, uh, everything's counted for. You can just simply click on receive all and then you would hit confirm. And this would actually just receive all your product in one transaction. Uh, it, all syncs up to the cloud and then all your on hand uh, data will be associated with whatever you received. But for right now, I'm gonna hit cancel. I'm just gonna do one at a time so you can kind of see that process. So let's say you get a shipment 
um, and only some of the nozzles came in. The knives didn't come in yet, but you have some of the nozzles. I can click on this download button over to the right of it. So where it says A-0005 has our item number of uh, B4392. To the very right of that, we have a, a trash can and a download button. So the trash can will just delete this from the PO. So you would no longer, let's say maybe you canceled it. You don't, want, don't need that item. You can use that. But the download button or the receive button, we can click on that and we can pick the quantity that we actually received. So let's say we only received 10. I'll get that down to 10, confirm. You're gonna see what that quantity says 20. It's now gonna change to 10. So we've received 10 of those items. We have them now in our system. They're now uh, in our actual physical inventory in the bins uh, and the, the PO and now reflects that we have uh, 10 on order instead of 20. So we've received those 10. Um, let's say we want to get rid of all the knife blades. We just got all the blades in today. So I can hit on that download looking button or the receive button next to the blade. So if I go back to where it says A-0002 down here, the second line item to the very right of it is that receive button. So I'll click on receive. Let's say we got all 30. I'll hit confirm. And as you can see now, the PO still remains open. We still have that uh the nozzle of, of 10 on quantity or 10 quantity on order but uh the blades are now gone because we, we've already received all those so let's say i go back so on the very top of the screen to the left is the back arrow i can go back and that's going to go to our receive module it shows all of our po's and as you can see down here 1046 s at the very bottom uh it does show in progress so the the system knows that this order has been partially received but not fully received so i do click on this it shows our 10 quantity so now I'll use that receive all. We've received all our items. I'm gonna receive all right in the middle of the screen. So this receive all and then hit, hit confirm. And this will confirm that we've received those items. And as you can see, it takes us back to the receive menu. In here, there's no longer a 1046S because the order has been processed and uh, we fully received it. So now it's been closed out. So up here at the top of the screen where it says receive, the very right of that is those three three lines that indicates our menu. So as I showed you before, we went home and we were able to get, to get all of our modules. But for this one, I'm going to go to strictly to straight to main bin maintenance. So now we're in the bin maintenance module. Now this bin maintenance module is kind of what I touched on earlier, of where you can adjust your mins and maxes in real time. Uh, you can set critical alert limits uh, and so forth. So just before I dive into the actual module itself, I did kind of want to go over what you're seeing on the screen. So at the very top, we have customer DBID. This, this whole uh, module is somewhat similar to the reorder, so it look, should look kind of familiar. If I click on the customer DBID, I can go to MVP demo, and then over to the right is our crib. Like I said before, if you have multiple cribs, it will show them all here. But for this one, we just have crib 01, and then for our enter bin number, same as what you saw in the reorder module, you can enter it ma manually, uh, and then you can also use the camera to enter that. So they're still in the same area, as you see in the middle of the screen, enter bin number, the refresh sign, and then also our camera right in the directly middle of it. And then next to that is our P for our physical uh, uh, issue transaction feature. And that is the same thing as what you saw in the reorder module. You can adjust any type of on-hand data. It's nice having that feature in this module because uh, what I've seen in the past is uh, customers will have uh, tech maybe do once a week, go into the maintenance room and do 20 to 30 bins. And in there they can scan the bins, they can change the physical on hand to what it actually is uh, physically on them instead of versus what it says on the screen. And they can also change their mins and maxes and their critical all in the same menu. Um, and then next to that is that clip art where you can confirm that this is the actual item you're using. Below that is the main part of the bin maintenance area, or bin maintenance module, which is the uh, edit bin. So edit bin, uh, you we have our critical, so this can set critical limits. Uh, let's say for any type of items that you're doing that are uh, high moving or maybe cause uh, production shutdown or production downtime, you can set a critical limit to that way. You get an alert every hour, letting you know, hey, this, this part's to its threshold, we need to reorder it soon, or else we could see production downtime. Um, under that is our min and our max. These will be the set to whatever we have right now, but like I said, they can always be changed. And then the capacity, which is the capacity to bin, um, that's just really more for the system. This can be put at whatever you want for the bin capacity. And then our item number will populate automatically once we actually do scan a bin. 
Um, so let's go up here back to the top where it says bin number. I'm going to use the camera on this one. So we'll do that camera in the middle, the square. I'm gonna press allow. Cool. So we have our bin populated, A-0002. You can see if you scroll down to the very bottom of the screen, it has our item number, LB-10B. So that's right here. And then above that is our minimum and our maximum, 10 and 20. And then right above that is our critical. And so critical is, like I was saying earlier, it's just an alert to once you get to that th certain threshold, which our threshold is 12, it's then gonna send you an email and alert basically saying, hey, you need to reorder this. Uh, we're down to our critical level limit. We can't afford to go under it. Um, so right here, you can just change that. Let's say we wanted to change that to 11. We wanna change our min. So right under that, we can go to min. I can change that to, let's say five. And then our maximum, let's change to 15. So once we've kind of dialed in that, that's what we want. At the very bottom right of the screen, you can see update. We'll just click update. And then now that bin's been updated. So now the minimums and maximums will be correlated to what you just typed in. Everything's saved to the cloud uh, and your, your app now knows everything's been changed as far as the minimums and maximums and your critical level limit. Let's say you don't want your critical limit on, you can just simply uncheck it. You don't have to change the critical level limit at all. You just have to check or uncheck this right here on the left little slide bar. Um, also kind of circling back to the top middle of the screen where that P was, where we entered our bin number and then three icons over to the right is our P where we have that physical area. This is like, like I was saying earlier was, uh, to do any type of on hand changes. So let's say you're doing that weekly check and they're going in there and like, Hey, we, we, we only have 80. We don't really have a hundred. They can change that to 80. They would just hit submit. So now that's gone through. So now there's 80 on hand. And since they're still in the same window as this window, they're still working with that bin. Uh, they're like, oh, we don't actually need a minimum of five. We need a minimum of 10 again. So they can go over here, change this minimum to 10 and the max to 20, let's say. We'll keep the critical level the same. So as you can see, we change our minimum to 10, our maximum to 20 right there in the middle of the screen. And the very bottom right is update. So we'll click update and that will update our now mins and maxes to 10 or 10 and 20. Um, and then with that, so then also I just wanna kind of touch on this too. So that up in the very top right where we did use that physical feature. When I do click on this and change it to now, let's say I'll change it to 90. All right, when I do change it to 90, I press submit. By hitting submit, it's telling the system there's 90 on hand. And so now the system knows there's 90 on hand. You don't have to actually go down here to the bottom and hit update. This update is just related to the edit bin area of this screen, which is at the bottom of the screen. So really just your critical, your min and max and your critical level limit. That's what the update will apply to. But as far as physical and on hand data, that's all done within this feature right here when you press submit. And then, like I said earlier, we have our picture. So this will show our picture of our blades. And then to get back to the home screen, you can go over here. So you look at the very top of the, where it says bin maintenance. And to the right of it, we have our three lines, which is our menu icon. So I'll click on our menu. I'll go back to home. And then now we're back at our home screen. And uh, that is the conclusion.